Well, we now have an update on Zach Levine's situation with the Chicago Bulls as the Bulls have announced that Zach Levine will miss an additional three to four weeks. We're going to talk about it, what it could mean, what it signals, all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host here, Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the content. And this is a breaking news update is that uh, the Bulls announced shortly after them winning the game against the Charlotte Hornets to go three and uh, on a three-game winning streak, the Bulls announced that Zach Levine is now going to miss an additional three to four weeks of time being out with his left foot injury. And so what does that mean? That uh, To me, there's a couple of different ways that you can look at this that it all but signals that, that Zach Levine's time with the Chicago Bulls is all but at an end. When you look at the three to four week time period, that puts Zach Levine out to Christmas to about the week of New Year's, depending on how far that, that goes. And that coincides right along with that January 15th date. So I would not be uh, surprised at all if Zach Levine never plays another game in the Chicago Bulls uniform. Now, again, not reporting on that, but that is kind of the speculation and kind of the way that I have processed what's going on with Zach Levine and in this scenario. And so this could mean one of a couple of different things. That the Chicago Bulls, after seeing the team and how they played, even though this get, this win against the Charlotte Hornets wasn't the best uh, win possible, but it could absolutely mean that that the Bulls now have seen enough of this team to realize, hey, we don't want to mess up the chemistry of what it seems like this team is now building, how this team is playing and competing for each other, how this team is really out there performing, moving the ball, everybody kind of getting the same amount of shots. We like enough of what we've seen from these young players that we don't want to put them back in a situation, even if it is only for another month, we don't want to put them back in a situation to which Zach, uh, their, their, their roles completely change. We want to keep their roles the same that it has been and move forward. So that is kind of the most likely scenario is that this Bulls team has just seen enough and have understood, hey, this is what it is. They also may look at Zach Levine's trade value and figure, hey, it's going to be what it's going to be at this point in time. We don't necessarily see Zach coming back and really maybe increasing that trade value more than what it already is. But on the outside chance, this also could mean that the Bulls maybe have agreed to the trade at least a framework of a trade that some of those players that are involved in that trade can't be moved into that January 15th deadline. And at that point, they're just going to wait to that date. If they already have the framework of that deal, because they can negotiate that deal up until that point, the, t- the players just can't be officially moved, is that, that that may now say that the Bulls have heard from a deal from a team and gotten a deal that they like, and they're just going to wait to the to the date that the players that can be involved in that deal are able to be legally traded, and there's just no point at, at that place. The Bulls have probably been calling around to teams on con- on phone calls and conversations with teams about Zach Levine for the better part of a few weeks at this point. And so if they finally have stricken that deal out of all the rumored deals that have gotten that perfect balance of what the Bulls want back for Zach Levine, understanding that his value is probably only going to go down, and maybe even if it does increase, maybe only slightly above that, it makes sense to go ahead and pull Zach Levine, don't risk injury, Don't change the role to your players. Go ahead and keep letting the players adapt to life without Zach Levine. And also, to kind of maybe even get that distraction a little bit away from the team to where they don't have to worry about it either. And so, you know, when it comes down to it, like I've said, it all points to Zach Levine's time with the Chicago Bulls being at an end. The biggest question is now, what team is Zach Levine going to? What deal are the Chicago Bulls going to get in that? What assets are they getting back in that deal? And then how are those assets going to play forward into the Bulls building this roster, maybe building something better and more sustainable than what they did when they initially brought in DeMar, Vooch, Lonzo Ball, all those players, and maybe even who else is going to be involved in that deal, right? Maybe it is a deal just for Zach Levine, maybe a player like Terry Taylor, which we heard earlier with the Toronto Raptors to where it doesn't really change much as far as the core here and the players that you're looking forward to. But don't look at the outside chance that maybe uh, somebody else is moved with Zach Levine. I'm not saying a DeMar, Alice Caruso, but you may, you just may never know in a case like that. So as of right now, this is the, the this is probably the final step in the Zach Levine trade saga until a trade is officially announced and where the location and team that Zach Levine's going to. And so you really now look at this thing, this thing going forward as these players that have been playing this role on this team, the players that have been fighting, competing for each other, really kind of moving the ball all around, sharing the ball, even though it wasn't perfect tonight against the Charlotte Hornets, you're now looking at that being your team going forward. 
that we now have three to four weeks of knowing that this is going to be this team. This is going to be the play style. This is going to be who, how and who we're evaluating to see who's going to be that pillar of the next phase of the Chicago Bulls. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, the Zach Levine trade saga is reaching its conclusion. It's getting closer and closer to that, even though it's probably still that three to four weeks away before we get that final answer as far as knowing the deal. But Zach Levine's time with the Chicago Bulls now seems to all but officially be over. The biggest questions now are the ones that we already talked about, what the Bulls do get back in the deal, who continues to step up, and then what happens next and what is the next phase and goal for the Chicago Bulls. Do they go in the direction of being a team that's just going to be committed to being bad for two to three years and get and increase the value of their own draft picks and the stock of their own draft picks, or are they going to get pieces back complimentary pieces maybe future picks where we still see this team try to be that scrappy team that fights maybe even competes for a play-in I don't necessarily think that that's going to be the case but with how weak the Eastern Conference has been nothing's outside the realm of possibilities but as the Zach Levine trade officially gets closer to happening we're going to get more and more of those answers right now it while this has made some things a little bit more clear it brings its own questions as well for the Chicago Bulls team but the biggest questions are going to be on the court. How do these players on the court that are still on this team continue to step up and thrive um, in the, with the, I don't want to say with the absence of Zach Levine because that kind of puts it on him, but more so with the fact of now they know these roles that they're going to play. The starting lineup is probably going to stay the same. Alex Caruso is going to stay a part of that starting lineup with Patrick Williams as long as, Bo- as, long as Alex Caruso is healthy. He may end up missing next game, but these are big questions now for the Chicago Bulls and a big change in the status quo is what's been the Chicago Bulls for the better part of five, six, seven years with having Zach Levine here. So we're now officially moving into a new phase and chapter of the Chicago Bulls and a chapter that's going to be without Zach Levine. Let me know your thoughts and everything down below. As always, make sure you're following the show at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, BullsCentralPod at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message, and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related, thanks to you guys. And like I like to end every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See red if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Media. Media.